Well, it's Sunday, about 10 minutes after 11, and I just got set up at the tractor supply store. Alzheimer's got me yesterday a little bit, and got me again today a little bit. Alzheimer's, you know. Yesterday, I left the uh, SD card out of this camera when I started shooting a video at the East Beach Farmer's Market. That didn't go very well. That's about the uh, hundredth time I've left the SD card out of one camera or the other. Today I left my big long sharpening sign at home, so I had to use my little ones. But that's okay. I don't know what the day's going to be like. Yesterday at East Beach, my favorite knife sharpening spot ever, I had, a, I had another ripper day. I mean, one of my best days. 41 knives, four, uh, have I had five pair of scissors, four, four or five pair of scissors, I can't remember. I did a really nice Danish fish knife, I guess it was, carbon, carbon steel knife for a guy. He brought me, I don't know, six or seven kitchen knives and this fishing knife. It was a nice knife, but I got a picture of it. I did take some pictures with my phone, but... You know how that goes sometimes when there's a lot of shade, a lot of sun around. They kind of they're okay. They just it's not very good pictures. Most of the most of them, but I'll put them on the back here of this fine video I'm doing now. I ain't got much gold to report. I think I showed you everything the mumbles man found. And I don't think anything I heard. Well, I heard of one being found yesterday. Guru says he thinks he found one uh, Thursday. I haven't seen it. I don't know uh, the land of Nala. What that's going to be like. We heard about a gold chain being lost with a big pendant on it. We heard this story and that story. You know how that goes. We're just taking it easy. Now in the shade it's 85 today which is not too bad today yesterday it was brutal 96 but I was under that gazebo looking thing you know so it wasn't too bad under there but the market was extremely busy East Beach oh my I don't think I ever seen so many people there I don't know how the other one made out down at 19th and Cyprus I haven't talked to anybody that went down there but I know the one where we were was really busy Okay, that rant is over. I'll get back to you in a little while if I have any customers. I brought some uh, some restaurant knives right there. I got three boxes of them to do because generally I don't do much out here, you know. But it's been picking up. Well, we have to see. I see. I thought the rant was over, but I was just getting started. I got it damn cold. I don't know where that came from, a little teeny one. I hope it don't get any worse. Now that's what the sheet looks like right now. Nothing. Zero. Zip. If we fill it up today, we'll have a good day. My buddy Gary in Texas, he had a ripper day yesterday too. Tim was a little slow for him in his market. Markets are funny places to work. All right, I got to run. I'll get back to you. <clears throat> well, it's 12.25. I got my first customer. I got a Tac Force multicolored blade knife, pocket knife, and I got three lawnmower blades. I don't think they've ever been sharpened. They've been on maybe for a hundred years. You see that? That's the edge. It's rounded. It's like, it's almost like the whole blade. It's almost like this part of the blade. That's terrible. That's, that's, the, that's the worst lawnmower blades I've ever seen. We'll see how it goes. Great balls of fire. And the second customer just brought me a Kershaw. 
he's just a drive-up customer. Uh, okay, I've been working on my restaurant now. I just about got them finished. Well, I got a real customer, second real customer. It's got a little teeny, I presume that's Japanese writing, might be Chinese. <coughs> yeah, we don't call it Japanese. A TST 600. <coughs> then we got five Dexters. I'd say this guy's a fish fillet knife kind of guy. A boner and another boner. So we got three fillets, a boner, and a little Japanese pair of some sort. That'll keep us busy. When we get to the lawnmower blades. I have a friend that's hanging out with me under the shade here. Look at him. He's hopping all around out here. I know Boo Boo would like to get old him. Hi, right, buddy. That's over there by the generator. That can't be no fun. There he goes. Take off, man. Get out of that sun. Get going. Get to your shady spot. Okay, here we go. Unbelievable. Well, I cleaned them all up. all the dust and rust and lust off of them and I sharpened this one right here I'm gonna take them into the guy and let him have them they're really thick you see I don't know how much they cost each to buy them they're, they may be the heaviest lawnmower blades I ever sharpened and wait and this has three so I believe that it's uh, one blade per lawnmower but it could be the lawnmower takes three blades and I don't know that till I ask him so I'm going to go in there and find out and find out what the blades cost new because I can't I can't sharpen them for less than probably twenty five dollars each as much work as they do have need. I mean, there's no blade that's dull. It's like 3 16 inch blades. Look at that. I mean, that's like rounded right off like a pencil. It took 30 minutes to do this one. Not counting the cleanup. Well, I'll go inside and give me some water and see where he is, and uh, I'll get back to you. Well, 2.30 rolls up, the lady rolls up, six shoons, not one shoon, but six, great googa mooga, I had three like this yesterday, remember, well that's right, you don't remember because you ain't seen the video, I had these exact three yesterday at the farmer's East Beach, and this is the biggest serrated knife I've ever seen, for shun, for shoons. This one's got a broken tip on it. All right, I got to go to work. Work, 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 work. I'll see you.